Uh, the first time I got a grant um, for a movie or even applied for a grant for a movie was a 30-minute sort of West Texas ghost story called Hollow. And, uh, and the, here in Austin, the Austin Film Society started this thing called the Texas Filmmakers Production Fund, um, which they started in 1996 as a way to uh, give grant money to filmmakers. Um, I applied with my 30-minute uh, West Texas ghost story, which was going to be very expensive. And so I actually applied for two grants. I applied for uh, the Texas Filmmakers Production Fund um, and this other grant called the Aperture Grant, which is given out by a um, photography magazine called Aperture, and they give out $10,000, um, but only to one short film a year. So I applied for both of those. Didn't get the Aperture Grant, surprise, surprise, but I, I did get $2,000 from the TFPF, the Texas Filmmakers Production Fund, um, which of course wasn't enough to actually shoot the movie and you know, I figured I would use credit cards or, you know, get some money from my parents or something to try to make the movie. But uh, I was in a really tough financial point in my life at, at that stage. So basically what, I, what ended, ended up happening is I uh, spent the money on, on rent and uh, didn't ever make that particular movie. But three years later, I, uh, after I got a couple of other jobs, I managed to save up that $2,000 back, um, put it into savings, and actually use that money to shoot a completely different short film, a short film called Pleasureland, which I did shoot on film, black and white, um, ended up being about 18 minutes long, um, shot that, used you know the $2,000 from TFPF, um, and then also some savings money, and got some money from my girlfriend's parents um, to, to, to make a film print of that. And so that short film ended up playing at about 25 or 30 film festivals around the country um, and did pretty well, won a couple of awards. Um, and since then I've said that, you know, the Texas Filmmakers Production Fund gave me the grant money to make that short film, even though it wasn't to make that short film, it was to make another short film, but I essentially you know, three years later, used that money to make this short, and uh, and and that did did pretty well for for a for a little short film. There wasn't any sort of restrictions really, because uh, it was a very young program. It was only the second year they had done it. Um, since then, they have put some restrictions on it. You know, basically, you sign a contract that says you are going to use the money for this project in these ways, and if you make any changes, significant changes to the project or to the um, uh, to how you're going to spend it, you have to let the, let the film society know. His idea has always been we're funding the filmmaker, not the film. You know, the idea is that you're supporting an artist, not necessarily a specific piece of work. Although for this grant, you are, you are required to submit a budget and a proposal and make it very, very specific, you know, down to the, you know, down to the, um, specific line item in the budget of what you're going to use this money for. But, so there is flexibility there, but they try to, you know, make it so that the filmmakers really have to think about what they're doing and what they're asking for and, uh, you know, be be very specific and, and um, uh, you know, no one ever got mad at me for, uh, for actually making a film, even though it wasn't the film, still I made a film and it did well. and. They even let me help me out with doing a, a screening of um, sort of as a local premiere of the movie.